Don't mess with my freedom. Hi. I'm Jason W. Shaver, and welcome to... I don't know if this is Drunken Progressive or Shut Up Brain, but I know... I got a kick-ass shirt. I'm drinking fucking garbage juice again, because Diet Dr. Pepper... <laughs> and I have social anxiety, so I didn't want to go buy soda that isn't garbage ass. But anyway, this episode is not about politics. I have a deep, dark secret. I am a filmmaker slash writer, actor, slash, I think, filmmaker again? Because, uh, no, I already said it. Look, people, focus. I used to make movies, and I want to do it again, but I stopped because... It was disappointing because I won a bunch of awards and then I just washed Tortino pizza crust off my table. Even though you couldn't see them. But here's the thing, guys. I won a bunch of awards and I had meetings with important people and then absolutely fucking nothing happened. And now I'm fat and sad and an alcoholic. <sighs> Not cool most people would say. I'm going to take a drink of this and I hope I don't barf. Uh, oh, I can already smell how shit this is. Well, that's enough of that. That's terrible. I got drunk on other shit and this is all I had left for the video. Here's the thing. This video tonight is about my very first movie, The Truth About Average Guys. Which was called by critics, uh, Politically Incorrect Comedy with Heart. It was called A Chick Flick for Guys. It was on Netflix for a couple years, back in 2010, 11. Uh, won some awards, got me some meetings, and then nothing fucking happened. But, there was one cool thing about this movie. Not only was it my first movie that I wrote, directed, and co-starred in... Uh, there was an actress in it. It was her first movie as well. Her name is Rachel Brosnahan, and you might know her from The Amazing Mrs. Maisel from Amazon Prime. She's an Emmy winner. She just hosted SNL a year ago, and I have mixed feelings about that because I live in a trailer park in Iowa. And she's famous, and it was both our first movies, and I wanted to cast her in a bigger role, but my co-director didn't, because she thought she was too young. <sighs> and it's cool, but I'm going to show you the scene where she and I shared some screen time, and then I'm going to show you the trailer to the film, and then you're going to hate me, because my character is kind of a turd in it. But it was, it was the 80s, guys. And you could say the word retard. Okay, it was 2008. And I still think you could say that. And midget, even. But... Here's the thing, too. You can't cancel me. Because no one knows I'm a thing. So... If you canceled me, no one would even fucking know. But don't cancel me, man. I have a dog now. And a wife. And a trailer in stupid Iowa. Be my friend. And watch the most famous person I've ever touched. Yes, I don't know how to point. Dude, it's been over a month, man. You need to quit moping around and get over it. My brother just came out right there at the dinner table. Yeah. I can't believe he's gay. My dad's not taking it well either. Sarah, Sarah, you're breaking up. I, I'll, I'll give you a call later tonight, okay? T tonight. Hey, um, I'm sorry. I don't, don't mean to bother you, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation you were having. And uh, <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually had the thought in my head to have my friend pretend to be gay so that I could have something in common with you and go on a double date. And it it would have worked, too, because he's a great actor. I've won several awards. And, uh, I know that sounds weird and kind of creepy, but I 
I was only gonna do it because I'm kind of insecure and you're gorgeous. And you know, we would've gotten along and you would've eventually found out and would've never wanted to speak to me again. And in the end, that's so much worse than to just get shot down on this bench. So I'm Jason, I'm some average guy, and I'm totally okay with that. I'm Molly. It's nice to meet you, Molly. You too. Who the hell is Katie Banks? So, what does this girl look like? Oh, she's beautiful, man. I just wish I had something in common with her. You need to lie to her. I don't want to lie to her. All right, what do we know about Katie? Actually, she's my older sister. She's mentally challenged. No. Not helpful. How are we gonna use... We don't know any retards. Troy's got that thing. Tricky rectum. Um, Hepatitis. Where he Vitamin goes C. and tries out to be in a movie. An audition. Maybe Troy gets a little practice being a Riri, and then Jason gets in with the Stephanie chick. Her oh, name is Molly. Her name's Katie. I, I have a mentally challenged brother. Do you think maybe your brother would like to go to the park on Saturday? What kind of retard am I supposed to be? Just have brain damage or something and stop Ow! calling them that. I can do brain damage. I can do that. This must be your brother. Troy, this is Katie. Jesus, I'm retarded, not deaf. Look, buddy, I know what you're up to, and it won't work. I've been trying to get in those pants for five years now. I mean, you look like you're fucking 12. You have a lot to offer. Yeah, I do. A lot of women say that about me. Like my mom, my <laughs> grandma, my... No, that's it. You know, I think it's really sweet you let him look at you. Well, someone's gotta look after the guy. What about your mom and dad? My dad is a recovering alcoholic, and my mom doesn't have arms. What? Before we go any further. Of course you think you're in love with her. You just had sex with her. You know, in these movies, the girl always takes the guy back. But if a guy ever lied to me like that, I'd never want to see him again. This movie sounds really good. We are so going to hell. Yep.